Welcome to this Micro Nuggets on what is the MOSS or Microsoft Office Specialist Certification and what does it mean to me? A lot of people ask me, Chris, when I take your CBT Nugget series on Office 2010, like Excel 2010 or Word 2010, uh, does that get me any certification? And the answer is actually, if you go out and take the exam? Absolutely. You can become what is known as a Microsoft Office Specialist. Now to become an Office Specialist all you need to do, so here we got our specialist here, and so we'll say that it's um, Dan Charbonneau here. Dan Charbonneau, you know, really likes Office products, and so he wants to become a Microsoft Office Specialist. So he goes out and he takes the Excel 2010 exam. Now when he takes that 2010 exam, he will then instantly, if he passes it, become a Microsoft Office Specialist. And so all you need to do is pass one exam to become a specialist. Now this also is true if you want to become a Microsoft Office Expert. Now, Microsoft Office Expert is a different level of class. So if Dan wanted to take, or excuse me, exam. So if Dan wanted to get to be an expert level, he would then take the Excel 2010 Expert exam. When he does that, he instantly becomes a Microsoft Office Expert on Excel 2010. Or if he just takes the basic exam, he would be a Microsoft Office Specialist for Excel 2010. But I know you've all been looking over here at this one, haven't you? Saying, hey, I see something that says I can be a mom. Well, that's actually what they call it, Microsoft Office Master. What do I need to do that? Well, let me take you out to the web here. I'm going to actually take you on out to uh, Microsoft's website here. And here on their Microsoft.com uh, MOSS certification, you can find all of the things you need to know about being a Microsoft Office Specialist. Now, again, to become a Microsoft Office Specialist, go out past the 881 exam, and you're one for Word. Pass the 882 exam, you're one for Excel 2010. Now if you scroll down, you'll notice we have these for every single one of the Office 2010 uh, applications, including even SharePoint 2010 and OneNote 2010. There's even one for my new series, Office 365, the 891, which is very cool. But if you scroll down here, you'll notice there is also the Microsoft Office Master Certification. You must pass basically every single one of these, Expert, on Word, Expert on Excel, and 2010 for PowerPoint, and then you can choose one of these three. You can do Outlook 2010, Office Access 2010, or SharePoint 2010. If you pass these four, you then become a Microsoft Office Master, which uh, quite frankly is pretty cool. And a lot of times people say, well, why would I want to even want to get this certification? Well, the certifications really are a great entry point into the IT world. They're end user certifications, and you can start off here and get used to Microsoft, and then, hey, jump into Tim Warner or James Conrad's new uh, uh, IT-based ones, like your MCSA and uh, MCSE and uh, ITP and all those great ones. But really, the experts and the, mo uh, the masters are individuals who take their knowledge of Office 2010 and show that they have the utmost skills. They are epic masters of the advanced features of either Word 2010, Excel 2010, or some of these others that you see here. So let's come back over here just to kind of remind ourselves. So the last thing that if we want to do, if I want to become a master, you need to pass four exams. And of course, two of them are expert exams. So there it is, the Microsoft Office Specialist and Expert and Master in a nutshell here at CBT Nuggets. I hope this has been informative to you, and I'd like to thank you for joining me.